national income determination can be achieved using the capital market equilibrium as well we have uh, studied it in the theory now we, we are going to do it using the first difference equations savings is an economy uh, in an economy represents a share of income given by the marginal propensity to save uh, this is small less and this is a certain share of the national income which is considered as the saving whereas the firms decide to invest a share of their income earned in the previous period in the previous period the certain a certain share of the income is invested so this is how the money uh, the capital market works and in this market we are going to um, achieve the equilibrium right after elaborating that MPS is uh, ranging from 0 till uh, less than minus 1 and this is the national income this is the proportion of the last year's income which is invested and this is the income of the last time period which is determined by the current uh, investment which determines the current investment so last year's investment a certain share of it is invested so after uh, understanding the um, given two equations of savings and investment we can easily now equate them for the sake of equilibrium and once we substitute the values of uh, saving function and investment function we can rearrange them to look like this which is quite similar to the first order difference equation in its standard form however uh, s is something unwanted so we have to divide it to normalize the given form and when we do that is when we divide it by s we get this expression and that expression and this is actually the uh, comparison that we are trying to do with the first order difference equation here uh, we are taking another version of the first order difference equations that is this one instead of this one where the first uh, lead of the variable is used so this one is being used here uh, this is the value of small a and this is the value of c which is zero here so now we have to shed some light on the value of a to choose the formula we know that beta is there and s uh, they both of them they are there they are both positive so when we divide two positive values and we introduce a negative sign it appears a negative value However, uh, if we want this formula to be applied, we should assume that beta and delta, they are not equal to each other because if they are equal to each other, this will become minus 1 and we will not be able to use this formula. So in order to use this formula, we assume that numerator and the denominator, they are not equal to each other. So in order to use this formula, we have to uh, extract all these values, A, C, Y, T, initial condition, and the value of B. Now we can easily substitute all of these values. Here we are. The value of C, the value of A. These values are now being substituted. This is the value of A. This is the value of C. This is the value of A. And the finally, we are putting these values. The good thing is that all of it will reduce to 0 because the numerator is zero so therefore we have zeros here and it is simplified quite a bit this is the uh, first um, the solution of the first order difference equation that we developed this was the equation that we developed and this is the solution or the time path in its definite sense because we have initial condition instead of the arbitrary constant now this is the interpretation um, we have to check the nature for that we see that if b in absolute terms is less than 1 here if it is less than 1 it requires that beta should be less than s that the uh, numerator should be less than the value of s and if this happens we have a value less than 1 it means that then it will be a conversion case and in the pattern situation beta is divided beta uh, is there in comparison with s so 
it is definitely a ratio of two positive numbers that cannot be negative so a non negative value of b uh, suggests that we have a non oscillatory time path so now we can say that if beta is less than s it means that we have a divergent time path and that will be non oscillatory in nature and if numerical values are given we can solve this and get more concrete answers here we uh, na discuss the nature and the pattern of the time path that we developed in symbolic terms by equating um, uh, s and i and by using this uh, formula the first formula and the first order difference equations and the formula uh, was based on the value of a which was further based on the values of beta and s and finally after extracting these values we get s is equal to i the economic reasoning of uh, getting this first order difference equation the equilibrium in the capital market was achieved this was the formation of savings and investment function and finally we can say that income dynamics are uh, understood by keeping in our observation the equilibrium in the capital market thank you